if someone asked you to punch them in the face, they wanted you to do it, and they said there would be no consequences, would you punch them in the face? Drop your response down below. Now, this is what happened with Machine Gun Kelly at one of his shows, and I have the video. So let me just set the uh, groundwork for what we're talking about here. So someone had come to the show. This is a dedicated fan. Fan has a sign, and the sign says, I came from Mexico for you to punch me in the face. And Machine Gun Kelly responded to this. Why do you want me to punch you in the face so bad? I got rings on, dude. That's just gonna hurt. I don't know. It's a lose lose for me. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I'll consider. Showing the sign to the camera. Boom. I love you. <laughs> do you see his smile? Do you see how happy he was? So the fan, <laughs> in fact, got punched in the face now I love machine that. gun kelly like to his credit i'm hoping the reason for his pause is he's like i'm a big celebrity i have money i have attorneys who advise me not to punch people in the face and so he's thinking logically about this but obviously he has a lot of pressure because now he's acknowledged it he has a fan who's like so you know he obviously traveled all the way from mexico right. and so he's feeling the, the pressure. belgium <laughs> <laughs> now, from what we saw, he didn't really put all of his effort right, into right, it. Right. But from the legal standpoint, there's a couple things we do have to talk about because he received permission, right? There was consent. So then the question is, well, if that guy actually did get really hurt, right? So maybe he had some kind of like jaw condition and now he had to go to the hospital and now he has medical bills. Can he sue Machine Gun Kelly for getting punched in the face? And I would argue, absolutely. And here's yeah. why. If someone's like, hey, you can come and rob my parents' right. house at night and then, you know, there's a crime that's committed. Just because someone's like, hey, it's cool, it doesn't mean that there's not going to be repercussions, right? Criminally, civilly, but then also we have things like uh, eggshell, um, eggshell theories. So, for example, if someone already has an underlying condition, right, and then you do something that then results in, like, he brain trauma because right. there's something else going on you still right involuntary manslaughter you still can have um claims crimes all kinds of things that end up happening so you have to be very cautious of this including you know be aware of things like negligence just because someone's like hey let's go jump off the building into whatever it should be fine right. like you still have an obligation as a human being <laughs> to think about these things before you do them now obviously does he have a defense that the guy was like, hey, please do it. And it was consented to and all that, sure. I think you're kind of absolutely right though about he he has a defense, but if that kid really wanted to, I think he can get a settlement from <laughs> MGK there because you're right. Like if he change this, change the sign, say it instead of it saying, you know, punch me, you know, set me on fire. You know what I mean? You know, mm -hmm. shoot me, you know, whatever it is. Or or if it, not even about him. If it just said, hey, Machine Gun Kelly, you know, burn your set down. And then he did it because a fan told him to. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't change the fact that, you know, you can't, you still can't assault somebody, even if they give you permission. You know, I'm sure, you know, uh, I don't know if Machine Gun Kelly or the venue's insurance is going to cover Machine Gun Kelly punching a fan. So I would actually recommend not doing that. Um, you know, we've seen other cases where security guards have been spit on by artists and they have turned around and sued. But even though spitting is part of your show, just because people are there, I, I don't know, anything could have happened. I think it was smart that he pulled back and he didn't hit him as hard as he could have because, you know, what did that mean? So if he punched him light or if he gave him all of his might and he knocked the kid out, like what's the difference? Yeah, and guys, you know, remember that even the 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 amount of damage done, right? The pressure used and all that, it kind of not kind of it doesn't matter when it comes right. to assault and battery right. charges because you know if something is connected with you, if someone is wearing something and someone grabs it and touches it, there can be assault, assault and battery. Um, even with like if you're in something like a cart or you're on a bike and they hit your bike, like you, they still can cause damage. Um, to wavering degrees, but nonetheless, they can bring claims. And to your point, well, what about Machine Gun Kelly's agreements with the venue, right? right. Is that a breach of contract? Because they're like, hey, don't punch fans. And he punched a fan. Right. But the reality of it is, I'm sure nothing is going to come of it. Although in 2023, you can't be shocked by anything. Um, but the thing of it is, it didn't happen in America. It happened in Belgium. 
So, you know, all these things and, you know, we don't know what Belgium laws are on any of that stuff. You know, I'm, we're, I'm coming at it from, a, you know, an American kind of whatever. I don't know what they do in Belgium. So, but the other thing is, I, you know, it could be argued that he was on stage. He acknowledged the sign. He thought about it for a while and still made the decision to go down there later on. I mean, he was wearing a shirt, then he wasn't wearing a shirt. So, you know, some time had passed. He went down there, still thought about it and then did it. Um, so, you know, that could be argued, although I do like the fact that he tried to show the sign to the camera to like, this is my, I'm That's trying to what I'm saying. He, at least he, he's thinking this stuff through to a degree. Now, one thing I will at least point out is, you know, again, we're talking about like eggshell theories and what ifs and all this, but mm. in all likelihood is the kid probably okay. Yes. So we kind of look at that excited. as well, as far as if someone's going to sue you, anyone can sue you. But, you know, what's it, what, what's he going to claim, right? Did he actually go to the hospital? Were there medical bills? So, you know, as far as just being like a rock claim. star, I, th I think Machine Gun Kelly is going to be absolutely okay. And I'm still curious if someone asked you to punch them in the face saying nothing would happen in return, would you do it?